Hello everyone, my name is Hyunwoo in Pukyang National University. It is an honor to be able to present my research at the TMTSI conference. The title I will be announcing today is Coastal Sediment Lamination of Oyster Shells in Microcosm Experiment The Effect of Water Temperature. Korean Rex second in world oyster production and produced about 300,000 tons of oyster annually. Chongyang, the city that produced the most oyster in Korea, accounted for 51% of the nation's production. And the annual oyster share production is estimated to be about 102,000 tons. Oyster shells generated in Tongyang are used in the following forms, and as, a, as of 2090, 36% of them are left on the coast. Even with this, there was no space to store more oyster shells, so the disposal in the marine environment was carried out in this year. Since Oyster shell left on the coast caused the following problem like this. So the national budget are being investigate, invested every year to solve this problem. However, things are getting worse, including declining demand for oyster shells for fertilizer. Recently, Korea is making effort to recycle oyster shells through amendments to the law. And what is often mentioned as a recycle method is that using oyster shell in the ocean can be con consumed in an eco-friendly manner. Oyster shell have a unique characteristics, so I would like to briefly introduce them. Most of the oyster shell are composed of calcium carbonate, but when it, when it is thermally decomposed, there is pyrolysis. It releases carbon dioxide and decomposes into calcium oxide while exceeding a certain temperature. The, uh, this temperature varies from study to study, but it is about 750 to 800 degrees. Calcium oxide has a lower solubility than calcium carbonate, so calcium ions are easily eluted from water. Calcium ions dissolve in pore water in sediment, cause chemical reaction with various substances. Despite this advantage, high temperature pyrolysis has a difficult in practical use due to environment and economic problems. In addition to the component of oyster shell, they can physically absorb contaminants thanks to the, their physical property. For example, low surface, porosity, and high sur specific surface area. As such, oyster shell are an e effective material for lim removing contaminants through physical chemical reaction and should be con considered in terms of recycle rather than simple disposal. Method for restoration polluted sediments include dredging, covering, and natural recovery. Dredging is the simplest method and has a clear objective, such as removal of polluted sediments and improvement of roots. On the other hand, cover is more economical than dredging, but there is a risk of sediment disturbance. The disturbance can negatively affect plastic organisms. The cover material is divided into two types. The inactive material simply physical, physically blocks the water layer and sediment layer to prevent pollutants from eluted into the water layer. The active material induced the reduction of pollutants through chemical reaction and even includes the physical blocking effect. 
This has the advantage of minimizing disturbance by reducing the cover thickness. The basic microcosm used oyster shell were carried out through previous studies. In this study, water temperature was set as a variable. How long the performance of the material lost in the cover material is one of the important factors. In the field, various external forces, including water temperature, inevitable affected the performance of material in, the, in a complex way. This make this makes it difficult to calculate the life cycle of the material and needed to be considered before applying it to the field. However, due to the lack of the research of this and too many variables, this study only considered water temperature as a basic study. So, in this study, oyster shell were used as a cover material for coastal sediment remediation and the performance was evaluated by setting the water temperature as a variable. The water temperature was set in the range of 50 to 25 degrees and the experiment was conducted for about 19 days. The oyster shell used in the experiment were collected in Dongyang, a product sold for fertilizer and feed, and the coating yarn was completely removed. Oyster shell were pretreated pre at 450 degrees and uh, were cultured to about 8 mm. A uh, fire release temperature of 450 degrees indicated that most of the components of the oyster shell are calcium carbonate. Sediment and sea water were also collected from Dongyang, and dredging soil was used for the sediment. The initial condition of sediment and sea water are shown in the table below, and the ignition loss was about 12%. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the sediment is in a highly contaminated conditions. The samples used in the microcosm were prepared by putting sediment, oyster shell, and seawater in one liter of HDP in order, and sealing the tub with a cap. Each sample was replicated three times. The samples were stored, stored in a water bath set at 50, 20, 25 degrees. And the samples were analyzed at 50 day interval. Sample analysis items include pH and redox potential of sediment and nutrients in the pore water. Analysis was repeated three times or more. The experimental pH is 7.3 to 7.8, and control is 7.2 to 7.6. The higher the water temperature, the low the pH, and the pH of the experiment case, case was always higher than that of the control. Oyster is an alkaline substance and the pH rise by hydrolysis. And the change in pH is stabilized after a certain period of time. In this study, it seemed to be stabilizing by the day 13. The higher the water temperature, the faster the pH decreased. This seemed to be a phenomenon that occurred as the temperature increases. The decomposition of organic matter occurred more rapidly, and the organic acid is proceeded. An increase in pH can be useful for acidified sediments. The oyster shell in this study did not show a significant pH increase in the experiment cases compared to the control, because the pyrolysis temperature temperature was low. Nevertheless, care must be taken 
because rapid pH change can affect organisms. The redox potential is reduced as it is negative, and the redox potential of the experimental cases is always less negative than that of the control. This may have been partially affected by oxygen in the pore of the oyster shell. The redox potential of the control was almost similar for its temperature. And a difference occurred in the experiment cases. It can be seen that as the water temperature increased, the reduced state of the experiment cases become more severe. There are many factors that affect the redox potentials. For example, the pH shown above tended to the inversely proportional to the redox potential, which was difficult to confirm in this study. And it was reported there are decrease in nutrient effect in the increase in redox potential. Also, as the water temperature increases, Oxygen demand unit increased and oxygen is consumed more quickly, which can intensify reductibility. The following is the phosphate concentration measure. The phosphate concentration of experimental cases was always lower than that of the control and tended to increase as the temperature increased. There was no significant difference in phosphate concentration by water temperature in the experiment cases, but the phosphate absorption of oyster shell can be seen through comparison with the control. The mechanism is that calcium ion yielded from oyster shell reacted with phosphate in pore water to form calcium phosphate. In particular, high temperature can promote calcium leaching from oyster shells. However, as the temperature increases, the rate of decomposition of organic matter increases. And oyster shell palace at 450 degrees also contain organic matter, making it difficult to clearly evaluate the phosphate absorption performance of oyster shell. The change in dissolved inorganic nitrogen concentration is as follows. The nit the right concentration was very small and did not change significantly. The concentration of ammonia and nitrate in the experimental cases were higher than those in the control, which increased as the water temperature increased. The increase in ammonia concentration in the experiment cases may be related to the conversion of ammonia and ammonium ions. Within the pH range of this study, the proportion present in the form of ammonia increases as the pH increases. Unlike phosphate, the mechanism by oyster shell directly absorbed ammonia has not yet been el elucidated and it related to the promotion of nitrification. In this study, nitrate starts to increase from about day 50 and appears until about day 45. Decreases after 45 days may be due to the denitrification. Denitrification occurs in special circumstances as su such as lack of oxygen. This is conclusion. In this study, a microcosm was conducted to cover western shell to recycle western shell as a material for improving coastal sediments. It was investigated how water temperature affects the purpose of the material, that is, oyster shell. When oyster shell were applied to coastal sediment by cover, the pH increased, redox potential decreased, Phosphate concentration decreased and ammonia concentration increased. As the water temperature increased, the nutrient concentration in the sediment of control and experiment cases increased, but no significant difference was found in the performance of oyster shells. 
since this experiment was conducted for a short period of time, it was difficult to clearly identify the performance limit of the oyster shell. Long-term experiment and experiment applying other barriers should be additionally performed. Thank you for your attention.